and covariance. Risk free rate uh, would be provided. Okay. First one is uh, you know you type in this uh, WS and WB. Check my formula is one minus WS, and then you can copy and paste. And this is a standard deviation. I put the standard deviation to the left of the expected return just to draw the graph. Because uh, Excel by default would recognize the left column as the uh, x, x, axis. Okay. So, but it's up to you. You can adjust. So this is a square root of that Lange equation of that uh, sigma a squared, of that line equation sigma a squared, uh, w a squared, a squared plus w b squared, sigma b squared, plus 2 w sigma rho. Okay, or I use the covariance. Uh, I assume you know how to use a dollar sign. You know that? Okay. So dollar sign is because when you copy and paste the standard deviation row covariance would not change. So you want to freeze that. Um, the weights I did not add dollar signs. You want them to change. Okay. So that's some trick to play if you want to copy and paste. If you do not know that, if you want to catch up, come to me. Okay. Um, so expected return is a weighted average. You change when you copy and paste, you change the weights. But the dollar sign assigned to B17 and C17, because those uh, expected returns of different portfolio weights, you want to use the same. Okay. And here is a minimum variance calculation. Again, I just uh, uh, equals the, the use the, the equation. So it's a WS equals sigma B squared or something. So minimum mirrors portfolio uh, equation to calculate the weights. After I did that, I insert it just like I showed in the slides. So it's a WS is 4.7 something. So I insert it between 0% to 10%. And the reason is I want to pinpoint this a starting point. Okay, let's see. Then I can use these two columns to draw the investment opportunity set. Okay, so go to insert. And for this chart, I think you want to use the scanner. This one. See, if your graph looks like that, that means you're in the same direction. Otherwise, stop there. If you cannot find the box, come to me, okay? But then you start early. Okay, so this is uh, the graph. Uh, and then you can click the format, the design, and to kind of a massage to make it more professional, like add the chart title, legend, things like that. Okay, and then I want to add, select the data. I think it's under the design. Select the data. I can rename the series, edit. Or I can add another one. I want to put Markowitz equation frontier. And the x-axis, remember, that's standard deviation up to the minimum marriage portfolio. And risk of the return is also including and up to the minimum marriage portfolio. And click OK. Yeah, so this part is the walkways deviation frontier. And the complete uh, picture is here. OK, so let's move on. Tendency portfolio. This is a key part. First is uh, you cannot find the equation I used to calculate this part. So what I did is a setup like this. Leave WS blank. Write down on your notes if you want to follow. First, tendency portfolio. Leave WS blank. Okay, how to define, you can refer to my formula. 
formula. So WB is one minus WA, uh, WS. So see that, just equal, define, ignore the numbers. And return is a portfolio return, weighted average, just refer to the first, uh, the cells. Standard equation is a long formula, okay? And shock ratio, you need risk free. So shock ratio is uh, expected return minus this F18. Uh, F18 is somewhere I put the risk free rate information. So risk free rate, 1.02% in my example. I think I asked you to use 2% as a risk free. And divided by the standard deviation. Okay, so this is shock ratio. So just define. Okay, third. <coughs> Go for solver. You solve. Okay, solver is under this data. Could not find it. If I could not find it, you should add in. Okay, so in this <coughs> customize quick access toolbar and click more command. And here, add-ins. So click add-ins. And you want to add in analysis tool pack. Think this, analysis tool pack. So it's inactive. So that's why I could not see that. And don't click OK now, click go. And check analysis tool pack solver, at least. Or you, you may want to check all, but I, I would suggest analysis tool pack and solver add-in and click OK. Yeah, this here. So under the data, if you could not find it, add in. If you have problem, add in company or Google. Okay, now solver. <coughs> I would suggest you to before you click solver, click this shock ratio. Click this shock ratio. Okay. So solver. Since you click the shock ratio, that's your objective. So solver objective is the shock ratio cell. Shock ratio. And make sure you check this maximize, because we want to maximize shock ratio. See the logic here is you want to maximize shock ratio, your objective. So by changing the variable cell is uh, this uh, by changing Whatever, so it's W S the cell we left blank. So we want to solve that. So <coughs> what behind this programming package is uh, Excel is trying to try different numbers until it hit the minimum or the maximized one. Okay, so click solve. Okay, and then click OK. Everything is solved. And now all the numbers, since we already defined, so you know the tangency portfolios or characteristics. Okay, so try it. <clears throat> and this is just that I re re rearrange the information. So tangency is return, standard deviation, so just copy this result here. And I, I bring in the risk free rate. Um, typically for the Excel, if you change a uh, number, parameter value, everything changed automatically, not for the solver. So if you change some number, you have to go through the solving uh, steps again. So it would, the solving process would not change automatically. So if you change, for example, risk free rate, you want to calculate a new tangency portfolio, you have to go to the data, solver, and solve again. So don't expect. Uh, this is a package programming to change automatically. Okay, so this is a complete portfolio, step three, asset allocation. <coughs> so uh, you calculate the return, weighted average, and you use tendency return and risk free rate and change the weights. Now standard deviation for the complete portfolio, say it's just a two product of two components. WM, that's M is marketing, a uh, market portfolio or tendency, times standard deviation of the tendency. And then you can copy and paste. 
So let's, uh, let me show you. Then I want you, on top of this graph, I want you to draw the CML user complete portfolio information. So I just click this uh, graph. Uh, either format or design. I think just this two. Uh, it looks like this is under the design tab. Click select data. And you can add, you can edit, you can select existing one and edit. Or you can add a new one. So this new one is a C and L. And X values is a complete portfolio standard deviation. No, always remember standard deviation is a X axis and the Y is a return. Now it's beautiful. What? You see, it's uh, starting it from this spring and hanging. <laughs> so I know <laughs> I'm about right. Hold on, how did you just do that? Uh, let me go back. Okay, yeah. so click this one. Make sure you select click. this chart. Okay. And then here is the chart tool you can see. So you have you can format. Uh, so many things you can do here. And I think it's under the design. Under the design, there is select the data. And you can add uh, another line. So I click add. And the series name is CML. And uh, select the, the data. So the X, click this arrow. And select the data you want to use to draw the graph. And click here to bring you back. And click this arrow again. And then select the return. So you just select the standard deviation yes. return to get the yes. CML? Yes, of the complete portfolio. Okay, sweet. Yeah, this. So learning by doing, do homework. It's basically like that, this example. And from time to time, go back to my Well, I've got a 20 minute video. And if you encounter any questions, I don't want you to spend lots of time, because the major objective is for you to learn. So you can always seek help from me. I will be here Monday, what, Wednesday, what, what? and Friday. Okay. So she's Please. probably going to, yep. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> and you should be happy since you are here. And this 